With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone, the charge which will flow through a 200 ohm galvanometer connected to a 400 ohm circular coil of 1000 ton wound on a wooden stick to 20 mm in diameter if a magnetic field B is equal to 0 0.12 tesla parallel to the axis of stick decreases to zero. So if you see galvanometer itself having this much resistance and it is connected in series with a circular coil having a resistance of 400. So if I write down the R equivalent it will be R1 plus R2 since they are in series right. So it will be 200 plus 400 that is equals to 600 ohm. And if you see here the uh, cross section area is given, the number of turn is given right and the magnetic field change is also given. So if I write down the induced EMF, induced EMF, we know that it is the number of turn times rate of flux change through each turn right here the number of turn is given and if i talk about the flux if you see uh, the field is parallel to the area vector magnetic field parallel to the axis and axis is along the area vector so both are so both are parallel so i can write down the flux is equals to simply b into a right b into a since they are parallel here so from here i can write down the e is equals to number of turn the rate of change of magnetic field area is constant here this will be the induced emf and uh, in the question charge flown is asked right so because of this induced emf the current will flow that is i will write down i times of r equivalent so current is what the rate of charge flow right so just equate them Right, uh, induced EMF we already got uh, this. If I write down the magnet, if I equate the magnitude of the two, right, I will write down the induced EMF is equals to current times of resistance. Current is dQ by dt. R equivalent is the resistance of the circuit. We want this dQ, the charge flow. So I will write down this dQ that is the charge flow through the circuit is equals to the number of turn area change in magnetic field by the R equivalent. Number of turn is given in the equation it is 1000. Area you can get if you see the diameter is given. You can write down the radius will be 10 into 10 to the power minus 3 meter. That is 10 to the power minus 2 meter. Right. So I will write down the area as pi R square. So R we already got it is 10 to the power minus 2. So I will write down minus 4. Change in magnetic field. Magnetic field is changed from 0 0.0122 to 0. So the change is simply 1 to Tesla. In division R equivalent is 600. So these two zeros we, we can cancel out. And uh, if you see we got uh, this, this 6 will also get cancelled out. And you will write 0 0.002. Now, this 2 into 10 to the power minus 3, right? So, I will write down 2 pi into 10 to the power minus 4 plus 1, it will be minus 3. And this here also, this is 10 to the power minus 3. So, I will write down this. This will, this will be the charge flow in Coulomb. That is 6.28 into 10 to the power minus 6 Coulomb. And you can also write it as 6.28 micro coulomb and this is the answer of this question now you can check for the option here 6.3 micro coulomb is the correct one a is the option thank you for class 6 to 12 itg and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today